in international economic relations and international politics, most favored nation is a status or level of treatment accorded by one state to another in international trade. The term means the country which is the recipient of this treatment must, nominally, receive equal trade advantages as the most favored nation by the country granting such treatment. In effect, a country that has been accorded MFN status may not be treated less advantageously than any other country with MFN status by the promising country. There is a debate in legal circles whether MFN clauses in bilateral investment treaties include only substantive rules or also procedural protections. The members of the World Trade Organization agree to accord MFN status to each other. Exceptions allow for preferential treatment of developing countries, regional free trade areas and customs unions. Together with the principle of national treatment, MFN is one of the cornerstones of WTO trade law. Most favored nation relationships extend reciprocal bilateral relationships following both GATT and WTO norms of reciprocity and non-discrimination. In bilateral reciprocal relationships a particular privilege granted by one party only extends to other parties who reciprocate that privilege, while in a multilateral reciprocal relationship the same privilege would be extended to the group that negotiated a particular privilege. The non-discriminatory component of the GATT WTO applies a reciprocally negotiated privilege to all members of the GATT WTO without respect to their status in negotiating the privilege. History The earliest form of the most favored nation status can be found as early as in the 11th century. Today's concept of the most favored nation status starts to appear in the 18th century, which is when the division of conditional and unconditional most favored nation status also began. In the early days of international trade, most favored nation status was usually used on a dual party, state to state basis. A nation could enter into a most favored nation treaty with another nation. With the Jay Treaty in 1794, the U.S. granted most favored nation trading status to Britain. After World War II, tariff and trade agreements were negotiated simultaneously by all interested parties through the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade which ultimately resulted in the World Trade Organization in 1994. The World Trade Organization requires members to grant one another most favored nation status. A most favored nation clause is also included in the majority of the numerous bilateral investment treaties concluded between capital exporting and capital importing countries after the Second World War. Benefits Trade experts consider MFN clauses to have the following benefits. A country that grants MFN on imports will have its imports provided by the most efficient supplier. This may not be the case if tariffs differ by country. MFN allows smaller countries, in particular, to participate in the advantages that larger countries often grant to each other, whereas on their own, smaller countries would often not be powerful enough to negotiate such advantages by themselves. Granting MFN has domestic benefits. Having one set of tariffs for all countries simplifies the rules and makes them more transparent. It also lessens the frustrating problem of having to establish rules of origin to determine which country a product must be attributed to for customs purposes. MFN restrains domestic special interests from obtaining protectionist measures. For example, butter producers in country A may not be able to lobby for high tariffs on butter to prevent cheap imports from developing country B because, as the higher tariffs would apply to every country, the interests of A's principal ally C might get impaired. As MFN clauses promote non-discrimination among countries, they also tend to promote the objective of free trade in general. Exceptions, GATT members recognized in principle that the most favored nation rule should be relaxed to accommodate the needs of developing countries and the UN Conference on Trade and Development has sought to extend preferential treatment to the exports of the developing countries. Another challenge to the most favored nation principle has been posed by regional trade blocs such as the European Union and the North American Free Trade Agreement, which have lowered or eliminated tariffs among the members while maintaining tariff walls between member nations and the rest of the world. Trade agreements usually allow for exceptions to allow for regional economic integration. Specific Countries Policies, United States In the 1990s, K. 
continued most favored nation status for the People's Republic of China by the United States created controversy because of his sales of sensitive military technology. China's MFN status was made permanent on December 27, 2001. All of the former Soviet states, including Russia, were granted MFN status in 1996. On a bilateral level, however, the United States could not grant MFN status to some members of the former Soviet Union, including the Russian Federation, because of the jackson vanik Amendment. This presented an obstacle to those countries' accession to the WTO. At the urging of Vice President Joe Biden, the jackson vanik Amendment was repealed on December 14, 2012. In 1998, in the United States, most favored nation status has been renamed permanent normal trade relations as all but a handful of countries have this status already, the ideas behind MFN policies can first be seen in U.S. foreign policy during the opening of Japan in the mid to late 1850s, when they were included as a clause in the Commercial Treaty of 1858, which signaled the opening of the Japanese market. Since 1998, the term normal trade relations has replaced most favored nation in all U.S. statutes. This change was included in Section 5003 of the Internal Revenue Service Restructuring and Reform Act of 1998. However, Title IV of the Trade Act of 1974 established conditions on U.S. MFN NTR tariff treatment to certain non-market economies, one of which is certain freedom of emigration requirements. The Act authorizes the President to waive a counter Euro unregistered trademark S for compliance with Jackson Vanik under specified conditions, and this must be renewed by June 3 of each year. Once the President does so, the waiver is automatic unless Congress passes a disapproval resolution. MFN NTR status for China, a non market economy, which had been originally suspended in 1951 was restored in 1980 and was continued in effect through subsequent annual presidential extensions. Following the massacre of pro-democracy demonstrators in Tiananmen Square in 1989, however, the annual renewal of China Euro unregistered trademark SMFN status became a source of considerable debate in the Congress. And legislation was introduced to terminate China Euro unregistered trademark SMFN NTR status or to impose additional conditions relating to improvements in China Euro unregistered trademark S actions on various trade and non trade issues. Agricultural interests generally opposed attempts to block MFN slash NTR renewal for China, contending that several billion dollars annually in current and future U.S. agricultural exports could be jeopardized if that country retaliated. In China Euro unregistered trademark S case, Congress agreed to permanent normal trade relations status in PL. 106 to 286, President Clinton signed into law on October 10, 2000. PNTO paved the way for China Euro unregistered trademark S accession to the WTO in December 2000. It provides U.S. exporters of agricultural products the opportunity to benefit from China Euro unregistered trademark SWTO agreements to reduce trade barriers and open its agricultural markets. European Union, the current EU competition law position is that MFN clauses will infringe Article 101, i, if in the individual circumstances of the case they result in an appreciable adversely effect on competition in the European Union. This is likely to happen when the parties to the agreement have substantial market power. It is recognized by EU courts and regulators that such clauses are widely used in a number of industries including most topically with online travel agents. However the regulatory tide in the EU appears to be turning against the use of these clauses. In a number of recent EU cases in the UK and Germany, MFNs have been condemned when used by companies with significant market power. In January 2014, the UK Competition Regulator, the Office of Fair Trading accepted binding commitments from leading online booking platforms, Expedia and Booking.com to alter the way they operated their MFN clauses with a major hotel chain International Hotel Group. The decision is being appealed by the price comparison website Skiscanner, and supported by online travel agent, Skush. India, MFN status to Bangladesh and Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan had committed in the past that it would grant MFN status to India. 
however there are increasing calls in Pakistan to grant the MFN status to China. During the negotiations for the $6.64 billion bailout package from the International Monetary Fund, Pakistan had given an undertaking that it would take positive steps to grant MFN status to New Delhi. In contract law, a most favored nation clause is a contract provision in which a seller agrees to give the buyer the best terms it makes available to any other buyer. In some contexts, the use of such clauses may become commonplace, such as when online ebook retailers contract with publishers for the supply of ebooks. Use of such clauses, in some contexts, may provoke concerns about anti competitive influences and antitrust violations, while in other contexts, the influence may be viewed as pre-competitive. One example where most favored nation clauses may appear is in institutional investment advisory contracts, where if a certain number of conditions are met, one client may be entitled to the lowest fee offered to other clients with a substantially identical investment strategy and the same or lower level of assets under management. See also, Group of Two, National Treatment, Commercial Treaty, Prerogative, References. Further reading, Davy, W. J. Paulin, J. M. F. N. Unconditionality. In Cotia, T. Mevroidis, P. C. Regulatory Barriers and the Principle of Non-Discrimination in World Trade Law, Past, Present, and Future. Ann Arbor, University of Michigan Press. ISBN A0472111000. External links, Most Favored Nation Clause. Bibliographies on the topics of the International Law Commission, World Bank's MFN Weighted Average Tariff World Level for Various Products from 2008 to 2012, ITC's Market Access Map, an online database of customs tariffs and market requirements, pages lead than any other country with MFN status by the promising country. There is a debate in legal circles whether MFN clauses in bilateral investment treaties include only substantive rules or also procedural protections. The members of the World Trade Organization agree to accord MFN status to each other. Exceptions allow for preferential treatment of developing countries, regional free trade areas and customs unions. Together with the principle of national treatment, MFN is one of the cornerstones of WTO trade law. Most favored nation relationships extend reciprocal bilateral relationships following both GATT and WTO norms of reciprocity and non-discrimination. In bilateral reciprocal relationships a particular privilege granted by one party only extends to other parties who reciprocate that privilege, while in a multi of the most favored nation status starts to appear in the 18th century, which is when the division of conditional and unconditional most favored nation status also began. In the early days of international trade, most favored nation status was usually used on a dual party, state to state basis. A nation could enter into a most favored nation treaty with another nation. With the Jay Treaty in 1794, the U.S. in international economic relations and international politics, most favored nation is a status or level of treatment accorded by one state to another in international trade. The term means the country which is the recipient of this treatment must, nominally, receive equal trade advantages as the most favored nation by the country granting such treatment. In effect, a country that has been accorded MFN status may not be treated less advantilateral reciprocal relationship the same privilege would be extended to the group that negotiated a particular privilege. The non-discriminatory component of the GATT WTO applies a reciprocally negotiated privilege to all members of the GATT WTO without respect to their status in negotiating the privilege. History The earliest form of the most favored nation status can be found as early as in the 11th century. Today's concept 